And we back like bra straps is Vach Lombardi here with another quick look because it's quick look season. Take a look at Ed Oliver. Uh, just getting a look at his uh, 2017 film uh, be before we do the full blown film session. This is just a handful of plays, just getting the idea. We're not dissecting them yet, but uh, just a quick idea of Ed Oliver, man, physically imposing, bro. Uh, interior defensive lineman I think he's going to be more so of a three tech I'll explain later But um, something that we can all agree with Across the board that's him in the middle there Is that he likes to take Offensive linemen with him Wherever he's going, he brings his offensive line with him, right? Even if, I mean, whether, I mean, bad positioning, yes, but even if the offensive line is in good position, he's physically imposing enough to where he can carry you on his back, face to face. Um, you know, if you haven't crossed his face fully, plenty block of situations where you thought you had a good idea of what you were going to do versus Ed Oliver, but he's so physically imposing, he shuts all that down. I'll Look at this stand up comedy routine called I Thought. I beat Ed Oliver. He's right here at number 10. And this tackle is gonna get a solid go at him. Like, hey, like when you go to when you go to tackle school, like we kind of teach lessons just like this, man. We're gonna take a solid step, get hands inside, head placements, whatever, but his knees are bent. We're gonna get in full extent power clean situation. Like we're uncoiled. Look at this man's hips uncoiled right here. And he's giving Ed his best go. But Ed's just gonna take you with him, <laughs> right? Like like when you when you see an offensive lineman in this position, normally the defender is dead as fried chicken. But look at how much Ed is moving or not moving. He's just gonna find his ball carry. He's just gonna inch in that direction, man. And this tackle's probably giving it his best go right now. And it's unfortunate. But Ed is just so physically strong and dominant. I LOL'd a few times looking at this. But uh I got a couple things that I want to say, but I'm gonna give y'all a better example. Let's keep watching. Now, just like with the last play that I showed, uh, I want Ed to be a little better at disengaging. I want him to be a little bit more proactive with his hands. You know what I mean, if you go back and look at the last play, well, let's look at this one now. And to, to, to be fair, Ed's winning here, right? <laughs> and and he eventually gets this dude off of him. But let me let me rewind back to the last play too, man. Just carrying somebody with you can only you know it can only take you so far man like if if ed had some solid look at ed right here if he had some solid you know pull some cloth right here um you know slap slap hands off of you um you know just a just a just a burst of power and you know change your direction anything to be more proactive and getting rid of guys right now you know I'm, I'm, I'm the most if it ain't broke Don't fix it guy in the world man And if you want to put offensive linemen on your back And run with them Fine Do your thing Ed Oliver Who am I I'm just Vach Lombardi and you are you But man this would be so much more nasty <laughs> If he had a compliment of hand tricks That can get people off of him You see what I mean and that kind of compromises him in the um, in the passing game as well. You know, when you're looking at these interior uh, D linemen, yes, run stopping, being physical, being dominant, you know, not being moved backwards, that's part of the game. But you get extra points if you can contribute in, you know, pass rushing situations. Now, Ed Oliver, by default, is a pass rushy type of guy just based on his athleticism. But, you know... I need to see more from his hands, more from his disengaging. See this right here? Like, Ed Oliver is clearly the be the best guy in the trenches right now, right? But you just need to not run down the middle of people and find a way to get guys off of you. Then it'll be nasty. Like, if we can find some way to put Ed Oliver and, like, Nick Bosa into, like, a whole different human and, like, put them together and, like, make them one football player, that'll be nasty, Right? But I don't think we have the technology And I don't think anybody has ever thought of anything That creative or diabolical But if that could happen Then that's some high level top tier I'm taking this dude Da 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 Overall pick you know what I'm saying But um, this is a quick look And we're going to look into um, the rest of his film You know later on in, in his junior campaign uh, Just to get an idea of how much He's improved now this is a pass rush role that I don't mind with Oliver, right? Like he he has some D line position flex to where I think he's more of a three tech. He's athletic enough where you can kind of put him in, put him at end, 
like in a pinch type situation, I wouldn't do it. But it got to be a hell of a pinch, like my skin's coming off type of pinch situation. But if you put Ed Oliver at zero and just kind of let him fly, he turns into a pocket pusher. You know, see see how he's putting the center into the quarterback's lap. Um, that's not very comfortable. So if he goes to a team um, that that has other complementary pass rushers, you know, you know, guys that can that can be fast on the edges. You know, somebody that can get upfield at three tech or something like that, anything. If you put Ed at zero or even at one and just allow him to push the pocket if he's not going to disengage with anybody and just let the you know make the make the quarterback uncomfortable you know if if ed is your zero guy and everybody else you know are better pass rushers that turns into a great pass rushing situation let's keep watching <laughs> hey man <laughs> we gotta watch this in silencio bro look at ed oliver right here cut the music off look at this <laughs> look at this look at him <laughs> this is the visual personification of getting your lunch money taken look at this look at this nerd <laughs> Run it, run it back one more time and look people hate pardon me some people hate when i rewind the film back five six seven eight times you you you, you don't want to see this five six seven eight times fall <laughs> cut the music back up YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. But less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Wolski. So like I said, man, Oliver is athletic enough to pull a lot of different, you know, uh, scenarios off. You know, he's not a trash can full of dirt type of guy. So that 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 gives me uh, gives me the notion that you can put him in different places on this D line. It's a very, you know, man. <clears throat> Shouts out to Law Nation. He's he's one of my uh, fellow uh, YouTubers or whatnot. I salute to him. Go check him out. But uh, you know he's a he's a Cowboys guy, and he really wants a big trash can full of dirt D lineman in the middle. I think this 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 draft class is very um, you know it's it's one of those classes that can sort of abolish that type of 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 player. You know, football evolves, man, and. You know, we just don't have big, heavy, fat three or one text anymore. You know, it's 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 more so about can we get that plus strength plus move in the pocket plus can you can you run can you move a little bit? You know, um, you know, people refer back to you know Tony Saragusa makes Ray Lewis better. Sure, but how about we take the same amount of people that we would blocking this trash can full of dirt type of guy to chase you around? Because not only are you heavy, big, and strong, but now you're fast. So now we have to be better offensive linemen too. If you're a trash can full of dirt, I can kind of engage you, pop my feet, brace for the power, and hang on, and I can pretty much block you head on hat format, right? But if you quick and you fast, I have to be better as a guard. I got to be better as a center. You know, Zach Martin just got paid today, so these guys guards are getting better and more athletic so by you know default your interior linemen need to be more athletic as well um i mean dexter lawrence i mean the whole clemson d line basically all those guys can move around you know um then looking at oliver then looking at gary from michigan you know you need d linemen that can move and ed oliver is a moving d lineman and this class is probably going to set the standard um look at that fight right here. look look at this fight uh this class is going to set the standard um for d lineman moving forward being more athletic being able to move around a little bit more look at look at Ed right here man with being being nasty being violent being a gangster just ugh, getting in the air i like relentless uh what's going on with this play nothing much let's keep watching and that's really all i got for y'all I, I mean i could just let this play and and we're gonna see the same of basically what i've been talking about um ed oliver you know big very strong very very strong can move not a not a trash can full of dirt guy uh dominant doesn't get moved backwards much uh very impactful playmaking type guy um 
but he'll 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 probably have to be a little better with his hands and disengaging and all that. Uh, this is a game that that moves. Uh, is he covering somebody? The hell going on out here? <laughs> okay, they got they got Ed. They got Ed over the slide receiver. Just whatever. Cool. Um, listen, man. <laughs> Why the hell they do that? But it's it, um it's it's basically gonna be uh much of the same of that. Now when we do the full blown film session, you know, draft season, January, February, March, one of those months I'll do it. Um I'm gonna break into even more, you know, you know, we're gonna see see about some nuances from Oliver. We're gonna see if he learned anything from this campaign moving forward. This is only um a this is a sophomore sample, one game really, and some change, you know. So this isn't my final assessment of of Ed Oliver I could be totally wrong here But that's just what I saw With my quick look That's why we call Look at that Batting down Look at that Look at Ed Oliver Look at this Look at this sh- sh- play, play it again Play Matter of fact Look I want to say cut the music off But we silencioed already Look at Ah Hey man Trash can full of dirt guys Gotta go <laughs> Even via the van can scoot God Dag Coming Look at that bro Even more value from Ed Oliver But look man Like I said We'll cross that road When we get there But until then uh, Leave a like on this video Dislike it if you did that Um, Go in the comment section Tell me what you think About Ed Oliver Hit the subscribe button Also You can hit uh, The little bell next to it So you know When I drop Random ass videos In the middle of the week Just like this Don't forget about the Patreon It's more important Than food and water And um, follow me on Twitter Vach Lombardi V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I Y'all hold it down For the Dosky Wolski And the Peace Kiwiski Alright Salute